Look, you want to know the most important thing that your business is missing? It's not pricing. It's not your product. It's attention. Attention is the absolute most important thing that you need for your business. So I'm going to break this down on what you should be doing to get more attention. This is not an egotistical thing. This has nothing to do with my OCD, ADD, you know, quadruple type A personality or any of those acronyms. It has everything to do with the successes and the failures that I've had in business. And you look at the largest businesses that are out there, you know, the Anheuser Bushes, the McDonald's, the Apples, you know, the Microsofts, these are the ones that when they're selling direct to consumer, they're the ones that are spending millions of dollars on Super Bowl commercials. They're the ones that are dominating TikTok and Instagram reels. They're the ones that are, are crushing Facebook ads. One of the most important things, especially if you're a small business, it doesn't matter if you're in the Airbnb world like I am. It doesn't matter if you own a coffee shop or if you're trying to sell swimwear. If you are going direct to consumer, which most small businesses do, then attention is the number one thing that you need. And the easiest way to get attention, in my opinion, is going to be right here on YouTube. And now how well you are actually explaining your product, creating unique value propositions, and putting your product in front of your buyer to allow them to benefit themselves, benefit their business, benefit their personal life, benefit whatever they're, they're investing into your product. If you can do that well, then you are going to be able to succeed. This is the misnomer, folks. Having the best product is not good enough anymore. I mean, there's a lot of people on this planet that would tell you that Android is a better product than Apple. I own every single product that Apple has. I've got iPads. I've got MacBooks. I'm literally recording this for you on my iMac. I've got a Mac mini. I've got everything that Apple has. And I love Apple because it's simple, but Apple got my attention early. And this is one of the huge components that I want you guys to understand is you have to get early in the buying cycle for your buyer and grasp their attention and and then you have to be really good at marketing, at the communication with them, at building rapport, hoping that they're going to buy from you. It doesn't work. What they want is how you're going to manifest them through the buyer's journey. If you can nail this, you can actually have a subpar product and compete with products and services that are better than yours. Airbnbs, coffee shop, HVAC company. Look, if you have a Christmas light hanging business, you should literally be grabbing attention of people right now as we move into September, where everybody else is going to wait till after Halloween, and then they're going to start selling their services in November and it's too fucking late by that point. The point is, is if you are starting a new business, you should go to a wealthy neighborhood, find the, a cool looking house and say, you know what? Hey, Bob, my name's Bill. I just started a Christmas light hanging business and I would love to do your house for free. And they're like, well, why would you do that? Because you have a really cool house and I am the absolute best fucking Christmas light hanger in the entire city. And I need your house with my Christmas lights to look fucking amazing. So I have some marketing material. Well, what are you going to do to market that? Well, I'm going to shoot some videos. I'm going to do some stories on Instagram. I'm going to create some reels. I'm going to put it on TikTok. And then I'm going to run some Facebook ads with this to target everybody in your neighborhood and the two mile radius around here using your house as the best Christmas light house in ABC city. So that way I can acquire more customers. And here's what I'll tell you. If I can get 20 customers out of this, because my average price is about $3,500 for a year for a house of your size, then I will do your house for free again next year. And then if you let me come and update next year, I'll come and I'll do it again. So if you are a co-host and in the short-term rental space, you need to build a case study. You need to be able to grab attention and you're not going to be able to do that just talking to people, right? When I launched Build Short-Term Rental Wealth, I started with a case study of my very first beach property of how I paid $629,000 for it. There was a property manager that was doing about $40,000, $44,000 a year in revenue. I took it over and in nine months, I did $98,000, more than doubling what they were doing. Then I did like 112 the following year. And that was this case study for me to use to grab attention for people to trust me and what I'm doing in the short-term rental space. It's the same thing when I started Bell Aqua Bikinis when I was 21 years old playing professional golf. Get this for you youngsters that are out there, all you millennials and Gen Zers, I was drop shipping in 1993 on AOL chat rooms, probably before a lot of you were even born using AOL chat rooms, Netscape, long before you guys were here. And if any of you have ever fired up, you know, a Shopify website and built an e-commerce website in like less than two or three days for less than 500 bucks, it was like 191000 thousand dollars to build my first e-commerce website. And it took like six months uh, to build back in the day. But you know what I was doing? I was grabbing attention inside of those chat rooms with the Brazilian sarongs, with the Brazilian bikinis, with the cover-ups, with all that type of stuff. I tried to be as visual as I could with those products to be able to grab attention. And then they were so cheap and the margin was so high, I would give product away. And so I remember my first couple of models were girls that I went to high school with and they were in college at that time. And I went back and I said, hey, I'll give you free swimsuits 
concerts. I couldn't afford to pay them. I was just getting started and I was putting all my money into inventory, but I knew that I needed to grab attention. The reason I've been successful in 29 to 37 startups, nobody's done as many startups as I hasn't had any failures is because I focus on grabbing attention. In my short-term rental portfolio, I build super properties. Like the one that I just closed on in Montana, just bought a $3 million single family home. Really, there's two houses on it, but it's got a lake right in between them, a private lake. It's going to be a fishing pond. You can paddleboard on it. You can kayak on it. The previous owner built a 150 foot coming down the hill stream that's rock filled and it's beautiful. And you can showcase both houses with that. It's wooded with trees. It's secluded and it's perfect location. You can see the mountains over the trees sitting on the deck or the hot tub. It's got all of these things to make this property unique that makes it easier for me to grab attention. So when I'm going to invest into a piece of real estate and I need to market that, then I am looking at how it's going to grab attention. When I flew up to Vermont to look at this boutique hotel for the first time, I literally was looking at how sexy it is or how sexy we could make it. So it will be the prom queen. It will be the Kardashian. So when I market it, it will grab attention. I'm looking for things to scroll stop. Another thing that you can do for any business is to get somebody that already has attention. They have a following on social media. They are an influencer, but the influencers followers have to match up with who you're looking for as an ideal buyer and then have them endorse your product. It does mean no good to have Kim Kardashian come in and say, oh, this is a cool Airbnb. It would probably work incrementally, but it's completely different than if I was still selling, you know, Bell Aqua bikinis, then I would 100% would want her to do it. There's a reason that product placement is a big deal, especially like when you look at the gift bags that these celebrities get at the Oscars, the Golden Globes, they're getting their product placement in television shows and movies. It's because they want attention. And these are things that we need to be doing as small business owners as well. And it needs to be in the forefront of your thought process is how am I going to get attention for my product or my service? Think attention first, then think service delivery and pricing and everything else second. Because the more attention you can get, the higher you're going to be able to raise your pricing. And that's a topic for a whole nother video, not about dynamic pricing, but about pricing elasticity. I'll cover that in the next video. If you need to get more attention, if you want to follow me, if I've given even one ounce of value to you, make sure you smash that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video.